this is a fundamental question. Is leadership developable? And it comes to the core of the research that we've been doing into leadership development. I think the danger is we have a generic view of the perfect leader and we're trying to develop everybody to be something that not everybody can be. And I think in that sense, leadership in, in that sense is not developable. I think if you're thinking about leadership in the context of the organization and the context of the individual, and we're trying to develop leaders not to all be the same, but to be the best leader that they can be, then I absolutely believe it's developable. But this is where so much of leadership development has gone wrong, where we're trying to, to teach a particular, you know, we know the answer, this is our model of leadership. And not everybody is like that. And if you actually look at throughout history at all the great leaders, are they all the same? No, they've been introverts, extroverts, nice people, nasty people. I'm not saying we should develop nasty people. But at the same time, you've got to develop people to be the best that they can be, not to be somebody else. My, my favorite quote is from Oscar Wilde, the philosopher. He said, be yourself, everybody else is taken. And this is the essence of leadership development, being the best you can be, not trying to be somebody you can't be. So is leadership a course or a mindset? To me, the danger of a course is it's you're teaching something specific and it's something you do when you're there. Actually, leadership is something you do when you're back in, in your day-to-day -day job. It's much more about a mindset. It's about how you think about your job. Yes, it's about deploying certain approaches and tools, but fundamentally, it's about thinking of your role as a leader. And to me, one of the greatest definitions I heard is leadership is not about being great. It's about helping other people be great. That, to me, is a fundamental mindset. It's about how you think about your job, which then drives how you do your job. It's also a mindset that grounds your leadership in the context in which you're operating, not just reading a book or going on a course. So what is the goal of leadership development? And I think, like so many things, the goal of leadership isn't about leadership development. It's about making a difference within the context of whatever leadership we're talking about. So when we carried out our research, we, we looked at the private sector, we looked at the public sector, we looked at charities, etc. And what was common in the great organizations was they grounded what they were doing in leadership development in the challenges that they were facing, whether that's creating shareholder value or whether it's develop, delivering outstanding patient care, for instance, or outstanding services in, in, you know, during an earthquake or, or whatever the charity is doing. All of them, the differentiator was they were grounding what they were doing in those challenges and developing the leadership that was relevant to those challenges. And I think this comes down to the fundamental issue about leadership development. Is it just about traditional leadership, which frankly is about leading people, but also are there other? There's commercial leadership. There's also, which I think is becoming more and more important, subject matter leadership. If you're a technology company, yes, it is about having good people and commercial leaders, but probably what's going to lead in the marketplace is you're ahead of your competition in your technology. And if you look at a lot of people who are, who are leaders in their subject matter in terms of technology, they're not necessarily great people leaders. In fact, in many cases, they don't want to do that. But the danger is our paradigm is for them to be promoted into leadership positions. We promote them to manage people when they're not good at it and they don't want to do it. We have to recognize that leadership is not just a generic term. It's specific to the context where leadership can make a difference to the organization. So I think that when you're thinking about who is responsible for developing leadership, there are a number of players in it. First and foremost, it's the individual needs to take responsibility. And the great leaders don't need people to tell them to develop. They're doing it all the time. And in fact, one of the traits I believe that differentiates great leaders is that, is that learning mindset, that curiosity, that desire to always learn how to do it. Now, those people probably don't need help from anybody else. They, they're just going to do it themselves. I think the challenge is where you have people who have the potential to lead, it, to lead and you need to open their eyes. And I think there are a number of people who have an accountability. I think their boss has a massive role to play in that. I think also HR can have a role to be supportive and help direct people in, in the right direction. And ultimately, I would argue in an organization, HR, because HR is about people and about organization, about leadership, needs to hold itself accountable for ensuring that the organization has the right leadership in place. 
Now, that's very different to being responsible for running leadership development programs. It actually needs to hold itself accountable for that whole gamut of activity of how are leaders coaching and developing the people who work for them. When people are going on courses or undertaking leadership development, I think it's amazing that sometimes we kind of leave it up to them whether they want to take advantage of the investment in them or not. And I think HR needs to be holding them accountable for getting a return on the investment. You know, in finance, if we invested millions in some new process or a new production facility, would finance leave it up to people whether they took advantage of that? Well, we invest millions in leadership development and then seem to leave it up to individuals whether they want to take part or not. I think we need to be a little bit more forceful in ensuring people do take their own responsibility for developing their leadership capability. But as I say, not to be some identikit leader, but to be the best leaders they can be.